something here that I would love to show you. It's my special collection. See, all these items are quite important to me. There's this one, which is Patrick. Patrick the Pug. Got my special friend, Peter. Peter's friend, Red. What else have we got in here? Oh, I've got Blue. Oh, um, but my, uh, my favourite. Not, not here. So where could it be? I wonder where it'll be. Let me go and have a look. It must be around here somewhere. I need to find it. No, that's not it. No. 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 Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is my sheep. Oh, well, this is my sheep. I was getting so weird. I'm so glad I found this one. Take a look. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? Now, you might think that this is a little over the top to be so concerned for one tiny item, especially when I have so many. As you saw, I had Patrick and I had Peter, but this is my favorite, this is Sheepy. This is, oh, I don't know, it's just so right. It just feels so right. But you know what? That is how God feels about us, about me and about you. Think about it. There are millions of people all over the world, more than we can ever understand. Yet God cares for about you as an individual. He knows how many heirs are on your head. I've got a few less now, but he still knows how many's there. He made you, every one of you, because he made you. He thinks you are important and special and valuable, and he loves you. Jesus told a story about a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. I've got one. He lost one of them and went searching high and low until he found it, just like I just did, and I found my sheepy. What's one little lamb when there are 99 others? Well, I'll let you, t I'll tell you. Yet the shepherd knew it was missing and sought it out. Jesus wanted us to know that God cares for us as people and he will not let us wander and stray away. Sometimes we might do things that go against God's law. Sometimes we make mistakes or even turn our backs on God and his love. But he never leaves us. Nothing we can do will ever separate us from God's love. And he's always waiting with us, open arms, to welcome us back into the family if we should walk away. In fact, God loves us so much that even though we do sinful things, he sent Jesus to pay the ultimate price and give his life for us. We learned that a few weeks ago, didn't we? He didn't just come for good people, but for all the people. That is something to be thankful for. You know what else? Since we know God made us all special and loves each one of us, it is important to love and care for one another, just like I love for all my puppets and my sheep. If people are valuable to God, we should value them too and treat them that way. Sometimes it isn't easy, but we know God will help if we ask. So let's watch the video and see a story about that one sheep, okay? Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, 
Uh, hmm. What will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. Yeah. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Hello, kids. It's Peter. Paul's not here. And I thought before we go to craft, I wanted to share a very special prayer to you all. Are you up for it? I hope you are. Dear God, thank you for your word, the Bible. Thank you for making us special. Help us remember to love one another, just as you love each of us. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. Thank you for Jesus. In his name, Amen. See you later before Paul comes back. This week we are going to do something different. Instead of our normal craft, I wanted to show you what happens when we share God's love with each other. We've just seen how the shepherd loved all his sheep, that even when one went missing, he took his time and searched high and low for it. So, for all you maths experts out there, this is something which might catch them out. Okay, so here it goes. All we need is a plain piece of paper. Now, I've used red. Can you see, Ruth? Yep. I've used red because it represents a heart. And I thought to jazz it up, I would draw a ginormous heart on it. Can you see, Ruth? Can you see everybody? Yes, we've got a heart, haven't we? Now, this is God's love. And I've got four corners, right? So what happens if I take a corner and give one of the corners of love to Ruth? Ruth, how many should I have left? Three. Hmm. Well, in normal maths, I think that would be correct. But in the God's love, let's see what happens. Now, so Ruth... Can you count how many I've got left after giving you one of the corners? One, two, three, four, five! That's right, five corners. So what did we start with? Four corners. And what did I do? You took one away. And how many corners have I got left? Well, I thought it should be three, but it's five. Five. And now what's even special about this is... How many have you got, Ruth? Well, that's my one corner, but it has three corners in itself. That's right. So, if we share God's love with people, we don't give anything away from us. We get stuff back. We, Our love grows, and some of our love goes on to you, Ruth. And it grows even more. So, we started off with how many corners? Four. And how many corners have we ended up together? Five plus three is eight. That's right. So, what an amazing thing. So, every time you share your love with somebody, a bit like the shepherd, he shared his love with his sheep, it grows and grows. Could you imagine if we all shared God's love, Ruth? What do you think would happen? <gasps> that is amazing. Yes. It multiplies. It does. And we are so happy when we, we share God's love because... We give love to somebody and we share love. Love is the biggest thing. And Jesus said the two greatest commandments is to love your God and to love your enemies as yourself. So, your job to this week, or your challenge, is to share your love with people. Do something good. Do a, give a smile. Give a smile, Ruth. Oh, <laughs> that's great. So share it with your friends, family and people around you. Bye next week. Bye everybody. Bye Ruth. <laughs>